Richard, what's the last three or four days been like as a player? Uh, you know, difficult. Um, it's been hard, obviously, see see the gaffer go. Um, but everyone knows that's football, and we have to kind of make it as as horrible as I make a quick turnaround and, and just focus on the game on Saturday, and that's that's mainly what we've been doing. Obviously, the manager brought you in here in the summer as well. Does that sort of thing play in your mind in terms of change at the club and, and all the rest of it? Uh, not really. No, I think I think all all the boys would agree that we've you know we let the gaffer down in, in that sense, and he's ultimately played the price for it. So. Um, I just wish him all the best in the future, really. I'm really grateful that he brought me to the club, so you know I've got, got that to thank of him. Stephen's obviously come in and, and Craig and McFadden still here as well. What's the last couple of days been like in terms of trying to get everyone back into good spirits and ultimately prepare for a huge game? Yeah, um, it's been good. You know, we've had a, we've had a good week, a good focusing week on, on, on Saturday's game, so... Um, like I said to you before, it's got to be a quick turnaround, as, as horrible as that sounds. Um, we've got to turn our attention to Saturday, and that's mainly what's what's happened during the week. As someone who's played in the back four almost every game, what was it like to sit and watch as the team was shipped goal after goal at the weekend? It was difficult, yeah. Um, I think the most frustrating thing is that when you're watching, that you want to be on the pitch and you want to try and prevent things like that from happening. Um, so that was difficult just to watch that in terms of you know, wanting to be out there and wanting to actually help out. You've not played since the 7-2 game, is, is it still in your mind, it's like a Um, Obviously it's still there in terms of when we go back there we want to kind of put that right. Um, but I think to dwell on something like that, you can't really do that, you've got to move on to the next one and the next game's come Marnock and, and that's what our full attention's on. As a, as a squad, do you obviously you, you see it's the manager's pretty good face. How do you bounce back from this? And the manager's been the Stephen Robinson's been saying that you know you've been working on shape, trying to stop you know, conceding the goals. Is that the key, just to go back to basics and become more difficult to beat? Hundred percent, yeah. Um, like you just said, there, back to basics. Be hard to beat, um, and everyone, everyone knowing their job. So that's what we've been working on this week, and you know we've done a lot of shape and. Just spoke about, like you say, not conceding goals, and, and that's what we'll go out there on Saturday to try and do. Can you, sorry. Obviously, there's a few clubs, some bad results in the last few days with Hampton Lane and, and West Kent Lane as well. Does that make, put you under a wee bit of pressure this weekend to, to try and get out there and to maybe try and hold yourselves back up there a wee bit? Well? Um, I think the pressure's there anyway, whether they, whatever they come up with result, results wise. Um, we've got to focus on us and, and concentrate on. Us getting points, um, they're fighting for their lives just as just as we will be. So you know, for them to pick up points is great for them. But you know, we've got to go go to Kilmarnock and, and pick up points for ourselves and focus on us rather than anyone else. I was reading it was a, a team meeting earlier on in the week where some of the senior players you know, laid it on the line. I don't you know what it means. They put you know the top flight status to this club as well. What, what was that like as a, as a player? How did that kind of come about? Um, you know, obviously, Laz, Laz is a skipper, and we had a meeting and we had a chat, and I think the positives come from it. Um, it kind of lifted us a little bit in terms of how everyone's feeling. People got things off the chest, and you know, we go there on Saturday as a team, and, and togetherness is key, and we've got that in abundance in the changing room. So um, the meeting was a good thing. Um, it needed to happen, and, and it was a positive thing.